हे ऑल वेलकम टू होम स्कूल आई गेस मेनी ऑफ एस एस एल सी स्टूडेंट्स आर बिजी विद द प्रिपरेशन फॉर टुमारो स्टेट लेवल साइंस एग्जामिनेशन राइट Definitely, I'll help you out with some tricks and tips that you can follow for tomorrow's exam, and I'll be telling you which concepts that you have to focus more uh, to score some marks, some good number of marks. Fine. Before that, uh, I would like to give one announcement about uh, the course that we have launched in Homeschool Application. As you all know that we have launched a course for uh, Karnataka SSLC students. Uh, I do understand you have lots of confusions whether to purchase the course or not. So for you all, I am coming up with free live class in our homeschool application on Sunday at 2 p.m. Okay, so note down the date, guys. I will be live on Sunday. at 2 pm in home school application okay so not in a youtube it is in home school application clear what i do in this free class is i deal with some tricks that you can apply in chemistry physics as well as biology suppose in case of chemistry this chapter is there uh, that is periodic classification of elements that is the most important chapter from which one twisted question may come to answer that twisted question you should have complete grip on periodic table so i'll help you out how to remember that periodic table in a better way and how you can apply the concepts in a better way to answer those application questions and coming to bio this heredity evolution chapter is there which is the most difficult chapter for most of you right and even in this chapter i'll be helping you out by giving some tricks uh, to remember that homologous organs and analogous organs in a better way clear and similarly in case of physics uh, let us discuss about the few numericals which are very very important uh, that can come for the board examination right so like this i'll be talking about a few concepts which are really important for board exam and you can also interact with me in that free live class you can ask your doubts and uh, i'll be solving all your doubts too fine so this is what you can expect from free live class and once the class is over you can uh, decide whether to take up a course or not to take up okay so uh, th this free live class will give an idea how my classes are going to be uh, from tuesday onwards that is from 1st march the actual course is getting started okay so this is all about the free live class that is uh, there on sunday at 2 pm but to get access to this free live class first you need to download the home school application by tomorrow that is by saturday 7 pm okay if you are downloading uh, after 7 pm tomorrow uh, you do not get access to this free live class so make sure that you download the app by tomorrow 7 pm okay so this is very very important and this class is for those students who have not purchased the course the students who have already purchased the course will not get access to this free class because anyway we will be meeting you all from tuesday right uh, you will definitely witness the classes so this is for those students who have not purchased the course yet so to have an idea about how the classes are going to be uh, we have arranged this free uh, live class on sunday okay so that is all about the live class and one more thing is how to get access to this free live class first thing what you have to do is download the app okay so app link is provided in the description you can first download this home school application and once you download you know otp will come from there on you can log into the app and you go to the option store so in the store you have lots of courses okay so you can see the courses and you go to the course science 
साइंस टारगेट नाइंटी फाइव ओके सो वेन यू गो टू दिस साइंस टारगेट नाइंटी फाइव कोर्स जस्ट क्रॉल डाउन एंड यू कैन सी द फ्री लाइव क्लास दट इज शेड्यूल्ड ऑन संडे एट टू पी एम ओके सो यू विल सी दिस फ्री लाइव क्लास गेटिंग शेड्यूल्ड ऑन संडे बट बिफोर दैट दट इज बिफोर सेवन पी एम टूमोरो यू हैव टू कंपलसरीली डाउनलोड द एप एंड एग्जैक्टली एट टू पी एम ऑन संडे यू विल सी एन ऑप्शन Uh, join live join la live just click on this option so uh, you can see me okay in a live class so this is the process through which you can meet me on sunday at 2 pm right so guys excited to meet me on sunday i am also very much excited to meet you all so don't forget to download the app that is very 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 important okay so that's all about the announcement that i wanted to give and coming to tomorrow's preparatory examination yes the first thing that you have to focus is the diagrams don't neglect to practice the diagrams they are very very important at least uh, you know you will get for 12 to 15 marks on diagrams coming to chemistry chapters so you have uh the diagrams electrolysis of water that is in the chemical reactions and equations you have a diagram electrolysis of water right so this electrolysis of water is very very important and second one is zinc with sulfuric acid diagram and third one action of steam on metal right action of steam on metals and the fourth important diagram is acid solution conducting electricity okay so these are the four diagrams you should definitely focus out of these four one diagram may come for three marks okay and not only practicing diagram you must compulsorily know how to label the parts okay so uh, guys definitely three marks are going to come out of this chemistry diagrams from biology part you have this life process chapter which is very very important so from this chapter you will have to practice so many diagrams like stomata open close to stomata and then leaf cross section of leaf uh, human digestive system uh then human heart and nephron these are very very important diagrams so definitely you can expect for uh three marks from diagram and later you have this chapter control and coordination okay so there human brain is very very important guys so if this diagram is asked they will ask you for four marks okay so this is one more important chapter and coming to how do organisms reproduce there you have this growth of pollen tube right so this is very very important and uh, male reproductive system female reproductive system okay so all together what i can tell you is from bio part you can expect around 5 uh, 5 to 6 marks for diagram okay so not 5 plus 6 five or six marks you can expect from diagrams so if you take up six so here six and here uh, how many marks i told you three marks so all together six plus three it's already nine and coming to physics part so you have this electric motor and electric generator right so one question is compulsory either motor they will ask you or generator they will ask you you have to be very very careful with Uh, the principle construction and working of electric motor and electric generator clear so one question for four marks uh, you can expect from this particular topic so here also uh, they'll ask you to draw the diagram so you may have two marks for the diagram right so how many 9 plus 2 uh, 11 mark and again uh, from the sources of energy they can ask you the bio uh, biogas plant diagram okay or from the light chapter mainly ray diagrams are very very important okay so actually speaking you know you have ray diagrams for mirrors and you also have ray diagrams for lenses okay so as far as my guess is concerned 
there will be an internal choice actually. Okay, so either uh, the, the ray diagram of mirror you have to draw or the ray diagram of lenses. So you will have internal choice. So if you can thoroughly practice the ray diagrams of mirrors or lenses, it is fine. Okay, so this is for, uh, you know, slow learners, I'm telling you, you definitely have 99% you will have option between ray diagrams of mirrors and ray diagrams of lenses. So if you can practice only the ray diagrams of mirror, it is more than enough. Compulsory three mark question will come guys. Ray diagrams from mirror. Okay, so how many marks are over here? 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so 14 marks uh, are already there in your hand if you can practice all of them. Okay, and along with that, if you come to problems, say in the light chapter, problems are very important. If you are okay with the sign convention, you can solve the problem easily and the problem in light chapter will be asked very, very directly. Say they'll give you some object distance, uh, focal length they'll give you and image distance you will have to find or they'll ask you to find the magnification. Okay, so very direct problem they will ask you. Only thing you have to be careful is with the sign convention. Okay, so definitely you will get one three marks for problem. Okay, so again here in the problem, you may have choices between uh, mirrors problem or lenses related problem. Okay, but anyway, almost the problems are similar, right? Uh, for uh, mirrors and mirror formula and lens formula. So, uh, problems definitely three mark question will come. Okay, so if you are okay with the light problem here again, you have got 14 are over, right? 15, 16, 17 marks, right? 17 marks you have got. And coming to the chapter heredity and evolution. Okay, so from this chapter, you actually don't have any diagrams, but okay, you can uh, carefully study and you know, you can do some smart work here. See, definitely one four mark question will come from heredity and evolution. Okay, so four mark question and that four mark question will have an internal choice. Okay, so they'll ask you either a question from heredity and or, or the or question will be question on evolution. So that you can do some smart work here. If you are perfectly studying heredity, that is more than enough. Okay, if but you have to be very, very perfect with all concepts of heredity. Okay, so you can leave evolution, right? But if you are okay with the evolution, Okay, you can leave heredity. So you just decide based on your based on your confidence and capacity, decide which is easy for you, whether heredity part is easy or evolution part is easy. And fix one thing, become perfect with that concept. Okay, so that you can completely score four marks. Here also you have got a choice guys, you can decide whether it is a heredity question or evolution question. Okay, so this is one smart work that you can do and here also ray diagrams of mirror or ray diagrams of lenses. So here also some smart work you can uh, do. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you all. So, and many, many things are there in a science, you know, especially reading a textbook. If you want to score full marks in science, definitely textbook reading is very, very important. Okay. So, and if you want to answer the application questions, activities, guys, you shouldn't leave the activities. Every chapter's activity is very, very important. You should understand what is the concept behind that activity and out of the experiments, what is the observation and what is the conclusion uh, that you can take it out from the activity. Because mainly based on these activities itself, application questions can be designed. Okay, so these are some important concepts uh, that I wanted to tell for tomorrow's exam. So guys, don't neglect the diagrams. From diagrams alone, you can score maximum of 12 to 15 marks. Okay, so all the diagrams practice properly and just do some smart work uh, in the heredity evolution chapter and also in case of mirrors and lenses. 
okay so i'm coming to chemistry topics you know from the first chapter uh, these reactions endothermic exothermic reactions and decomposition reactions are very very important okay and uh, coming to the chapter electricity guys i can help you out in one thing here you know you have certain devices like ammeter right ammeter voltmeter right and then uh, uh, what else you have rheostat rheostat and from magnetic effect chapter you have studied a device called galvanometer definitely you must know the use of these devices because based on them uh, mcq question can be framed it's a very common question okay from physics related chapters so uh, ammeter Uh, it it is always connected in a series and this ammeter is used uh, to what measure the current right so ammeter is used to measure current in a circuit voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference right that is voltage rheostat is used to, to regulate the current in a circuit i mean if you want to uh, change the resistance of a circuit uh, variable resistance that is rheostat can be used and coming to galvanometer galvanometer helps us to detect the presence of current in a circuit there is a difference between ammeter and galvanometer ammeter measures exactly how much current is uh, flowing in a circuit and galvanometer helps us to detect the current whether current is there or not that can be detected with the deflection in uh, galvanometer right so definitely uh, as of my knowledge one mcq can definitely be framed on these devices use okay so this is one idea i can give for tomorrow's examination and coming to chemistry you have this amphoteric oxides right so amphoteric oxides are the oxides which can uh, react with both acids and bases right so amphoteric oxides definition and its examples so you have two examples here al2o3 and zno so this is one important concept on which mcq question can be designed and coming to displacement reactions very very important and for displacement reaction i have a beautiful trick where i'll be sharing after your preparatory examination in my free live class okay fine so this is all about some important points uh, that i'm sharing for tomorrow's examination guys see you all all the very best for your tomorrow's exam and see you all in my sunday's live class at 2 pm so before that don't forget to download home school application that is also by tomorrow 7 pm okay so thank you so much guys meet you all all the best <laughs>